Good afternoon, good morning, and good evening, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Zark, and I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So we're fast approaching the halfway mark of this year's BSC season, and boy, oh boy, is it starting to heat up as every team around the world is upping their game and giving it their all. For that reason, you want to make sure you're following at Brawl underscore esports over on Twitter as you don't want to miss a single stream and sync your game to eventer.brawlstars.com. That is where you can earn exclusive BSC rewards. Without further ado, let's check out the best of the March monthly finals. Brought down quite low. It's going to be using this medical use star power, so getting some heals along with it. But Dino has picked up that right hand side in a great position now as the 3k hits as well. A little pass to Pazzini on a shot should be tying this up here. 50 50 he goes right and he just sneaks it past Kyle Dog on the defense. He's definitely done better as Kyle Dog was slowed in the process. Now pushing forwards. Great play molasses there from Pazzini to defend. And BC's in pretty low. He can't really push up the left hand side here. They're going to push the ball forwards here on the side. Abandon Lucas and Dino. Going to bomb it. Big burn. Boom! Oh! He gets it! Yeah, it's five-star lead now, but it's all pretty much going to come down to this last interaction between Moekos and Level Esports here. Loco needs a super. He's got this in hand as well. Grombom comes down and the takedown's there, but they still need another. He's pinned in this corner, though. Got a little pirouette going out, but he's getting hit regardless. Two HP left. We're going to place that down in front of him, but even Todd can't fall. Portos can't fall. And both of them get hit by that Grombom, but Reese goes down. They need another one quick. Can Loco get the super and push through? He gets it. He gets the bounces and the takedown's there. <laughs> Huge play from Loco to save Moekos from taking an early loss. Really quite clustered in a way that's gonna surely backfire. Toxic can land a heavy hit. Just trying to break the bush to see the crossover there. Great little play from him. Reese is incredibly low now as well. Sprout from Christian to try. Oh my word! JXDR from out of nowhere! <laughs> JXDR's got a hold firm in the mid. They can still turn this around. 15 seconds is time. Plenty of time. Loco 1000 HP. They've got to find him. And now he's healing up. They've got to get this pinch off. There's got to be a takedown. Or oh, this one is going the way of the Wakos. It's 9 to 11. The big test is also. They get it. 12, 14, and 16. T wipe. What an amazing turnaround. It's match point, match point after the back of that incredible pitch. This is not looking good for Juan de Nils. They get this push coming in. Alonso's thinking about it. Ticket now coming in as well. And that's got a lot of HP. 3,400 coming in. And Toxic is low. He goes down. The blue star is still with Juan de Nils and the lead. But one singular takedown will be all they need to swing it. And Marekos are coming in 10 seconds on the clock. Oh, Loco gets on the left hand side. He's going to be running away with Alonso as well. It's on the retreat. And that is going to be it. Marekos take it and gets a consecutive back to back monthly final win. Oh my goodness me. Money in the bank for Alonso. We're pretty hit or miss. This dungeon very nicely going in for an assassination onto Jeremy. It does pay off. Can he get out of there? Yes, super if he wants to dash away. He might just need to as Grom Bomb is going to keep Jeremy at bay for now. And Loco is back at it. Finds another two piece and he's able to get out of there intact as well. They're bringing back this deficit. 15% is all they need now. And they've got all three bodies in the mid. Yeah, it's even out now, and they need to push on. But JXCR, he's got a turret. He's going to be able to tank so much. He's got a vast amount of HP, too. Don't oh. want to feed these jumps, but they've just got all down. Full <laughs> fall and the splash from Prozzi's jump. Elchie's shots coming through, and that was huge. And JXCR for the amplified shot. They can connect him for a little bomb. Let's connect with Christopher. Christian's able to dodge it and evade it. Beautiful stuff from him. But the wall misplaced into the arms of Peril. Able to get away. Still three versus two. JXCR jumps in. Oh my word, the legs absolutely clap him. Can Christian finish this off? He's missing shots, but the body blocks are there. Toxic comes out strong for Juan de Nails. No contact from Juan Carlos. RBM has an angle on the right side, but he's completely surrounded. Jump on a zeal line. No, not able to receive a pass. And the wall, he's right. trapped in jail on the left side. That's it. That's the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was about my reaction, too. <laughs> There's the shot. No connection, though. Once again, such a pivotal thing to hit. But Luffy <laughs> currently making some good tags. Whoa. Rolling in now, the bounce away, but the pull will respond. Whoa! The double. Can he go for three? Tick had him bound. Finally goes down, but not without a fight. Tyrant also trying to close in from the left side. Zulon spawns just in the nick of time. Tuni closes in from the left, has to retreat back in the bushes, but Zulon's here with a flying elbow drop to shut him down. Second best is next on the menu, and now it's Alec 26 for dessert. A team wipe by Zulon to propel them into OT. 
Wow, and on this map too, all of those walls coming down. Not an instructable one in sight. And Zulon now diving in here too. Tooney responding with the super as Livy with ball in hand. Ooh. Ooh. Ball through! The connection with the super opens up the goal! Now Chepo dropping a super and a gadget to try and stay up a little bit longer. The max speed not really helping him out too much here. I guess they get out of their goal, but a super no. shot through. Slides through the shot! Counter with the bucket! Insane plays from West Coast here in our third set. The 90 to 85. Still 5% deficit. If RBM's able to get a super, this could be the game changer. 85% to 90. I think you said that. But here comes Toast saying something himself. Dies as he goes down. But it's 81 to 82. Juan Carlos finds it oh. as well. If they need a break open some walls. A table piece now on the back lines. Here comes Killer. He's able to take that super. Second best out of 26. And Tootie all chase him down. But he's out of here on the jump pad. And on table piece, lose a man too. Ooh, but Alec responding. There's the tag killer diving in once again, getting a kill. No surprise here. Second best popping the gadget preemptively, but cleaned up by Luffy. Second best could fall pretty soon here. Last shot from Tyrant needs to connect, but second best is a trooper. Here comes the pass from Suwon. It's going to be enough. Out 26 can't get there in time. It's a goal for Tribe Gaming. And a lot of opposition so far going into this, especially off of what we saw at the beginning of the game. I thought it had to be a win for them. They might be able to do it, though. Patchy on the right side gets taken down. There's no stuns available except for Charles. Here it comes. No, he's not going to waste the super on this, but Chino could still defend. Counter now coming in from the top. There's the green button. Oh. Throw him to the back lines, but Shine's here to defend. Patchy still no. elbow drop down to the ground, cratering in, and Dog Walker still defend. Gets a takedown, a pass up to him is an easy win. Here it comes, a walk through. No, oh. a defense, a blunder, perhaps another green button. It's what it's got to be. But Patchy oh. has these in short supply already. Super forward. Here's the combo that could be the win. He's dodging all these shots so effectively, and he crosses the entire field for the touchdown. Dog Walkers are your March monthly finals champ in NA West. Things don't always go according to plan in the Brawl Stars Championship, so here are my favorite BSC blunders from March. Baiting out as many of the Sweet Dream stuns as he can. There's already one there, but Loco, if he gets one at just the right time, it will lead to a goal. Christian's in a really tough spot. Can't do much more than that. Redis can oh, put no. a fumble. A big fumble oh, on that. Toxic no. hands over to the left-hand side. What are the records doing? They've got to land those moments. They don't get them often. You can't mess that up. A little speed zone just for fun there, too. And Trajan taking advantage. Here come all the spawners, but they need to worry about Yash. This should actually be really dangerous for them. Eight seconds to go. And he's going to be trying to get away. A little dash from Stu here and there. It is going to be a close call. He might go down and he delivered every single gym into the enemy hands. What a difficult situation and a heck of a turnaround. What are you doing? Oh! Three stars being the difference maker, but Kenji's not going to be enough. They have to aim at Kuru or Melty here. They're all being rushed to this back left-hand side, but you know what they're going to do? They're going to uh -oh. throw out while re-throw. Well, I was nervous for him. Little misstep. Not going to do even, that's going to be even less than I thought it would. Semantic's very low. Super's there for not, but can't find the shot off. Doesn't manage it. Semantic's very, very low, but Meb is as well. No killing blow from Ope, though. Rama looking for the pass forward, but no Super's anywhere to be seen. And it looks like we're going for another draw. Both teams are refusing to win, it seems like. But with three seconds left, the final pass. And Ooh. just in the nick of time, Food Esports will be locking in this game and set and semantic gets a happier face and the one we had earlier yeah it doesn't really want to take flyers it would make it a 1v2 try go for the tank there actually as peeps missed shots coming through from maru and now they've got control can they follow up and finish this one off they get the kill the jump in though return from Naui. The, the babies are tanking maru gets the kill it's traded out but it's still in favor of reply totem yeah well with this kind of burned down now it's definitely a bit of an issue but maru looking for the gem carrier gonna have that super as well finds it gets the heals gonna try dash out bring those gems to his team what a play i mean we can't question the mollies anymore can we because that was just incredible he gets the kill brings the gems back to his gem carrier and joker can't be far off a super either if he finds now he here with this stun he should be able to get one back but actually goes a little bit too preemptive but maru's off in again he's coming back for more gets the kill once more super gonna be wasted though but crow jumps in to try and evade him super veil from joker the countdown starts and it's working a little bit before going back and going back aggressive as no picks up a nice pickup on the right hand side rama pops speed and destroys the healing station not looking for Garrow and he's gonna find him. Yeah, he's gonna take those gems all the way back to the spawn, I think, at this rate. 
still got the HP advantage. The fast blast is there from now. He will reset his healing, but nonetheless, he's away. 11 gems in the pocket. It's just scary now against the might of the world here. a and R will take the first set. They fought hard for it. They got it. Linengen will be able to avoid that slow and needs to get one of these walking sticks off, pull Mori through and get rid of some of these walls, otherwise it's just going to be dominant. They're in such a strong arm position now, take down over the right hand side onto Dorian as well. Maru can't be too far off under the jump, but it doesn't even matter. Linengen's going to go down anyway, Salty's going to join him back in the spawn soon enough, and the goal gets put in. One super from Semantic, one jump in at the final moment, and it could be all over here in the second set going the way of foot, 25 seconds now. Big push coming in, hoping it's super. Zach is very low here. He might go down. He does. What a turnaround. 20 stars and the blue star. Foot can retreat. Final chance here for now or never if they want to contest this second set. Otherwise, it's going to be Foot Esports that run away with it. Despite a phenomenal start to the game, it looks it like it might be just that situation. Shaku goes for a final play but it's a double kill for foot esports that locks it in and that's gonna be two sets up for their side now looks like they have kind of gotten the better comp in crazy raccoon they've chosen to draft some of the shorter or rather the longer range brawlers that don't offer as much dps especially when you look at meg here's a big swipe in crazy raccoon they are actually in a quite good spot once they get this 8-bit turret up. Until then, the feeling esports could be in an advantageous position, but their first push does get stymied. Crazy Raccoon already have this turret in place. Just 20 seconds in, already 720s raining down on the safe. Big stun by Suzuku, but he's not able to get that second one chained up and fired off. But we do see the wall break. This is actually great for Aphelion if they're able to get out of this downward spiral. Oh, oh. Yeah, downward spiral is a good word. They're just piecing them together right now. To start off that game, they were taking out one Aphelium Brawler after another, and Satampo is still going to stick around. He's going to be dealing out some extra damage and extra kill as well. Sub 10% already, and Aphelion have yet to even touch the other safe. Could very well change if Moya gets a good super on the right side. He's at level 1, but he'll upgrade to level 2 and get a good stomp. He does go for the super to the backside in the same breath Tensai gets eliminated it's a 3v2 push Tetampo seriously feeling the brunt of it he's gonna try and defend but he gets taken down while trying to defend this get really dicey here too with a few seconds left and super still available there's the pool Levi needs to dodge though a bubble coming through for Mimi to keep his teammate alive and now a connection there as well still no kills each side looking for the first just a few seconds left, Chazmat Gaming A need to push in, Kenji, Melty both on low health, but they're the only ones who can get kills, Kenji trying to defend himself, gets popped out of the position by a choppy, a kill, and Reject remain in the lead. This is an interesting strategy, and so far Reject are kind of rocking it, but Chazmat Gaming EA still have yet to find out exactly how to play into it, Levi surprises things on the left side, Melty taken down by that one shot from Levi, down goes Kenji, and Kuru's the lifeline for this team, everyone descends upon him, he even tries to escape, but it's not even possible. Reject, they've taken their second advancement to the Grand Finals. And it's quite tough to do this versus a Bronx since he does have such a large explosion radius and can expand that a little bit, break down some walls too if he makes use of his gadget. A choppy, oh my gosh. Was that almost the entire super for Milgrio to take him down? <laughs> what a connection. And Ophelian Esports had this one in the bag.